Yes, finally, the Star Wars celebration has begun. Boba Fett is here. I'm out here in Tampa Bay every day looking for this figure. And finally, Target decided, let's put him out. Let's get the party started. Here he is. Man, this is awesome. This is what toy hunting's all about. You look, you search, you keep on going, stay persistent, you don't give up, you never stop toy hunting, and then jackpot. You finally get what you were looking for. Rock on. Welcome everybody to Collecting Star Wars. Well, with Star Wars Celebration and the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series underway, it's a great time to go toy hunting for Star Wars. And we might just find some new Marvel, G.I. Joe, and a few other surprises as well. So join us today as the celebration continues on Collecting Star Wars. Jumping into Target, looking for new Star Wars, but check this out, yo Joe. Look what we got, the new Super 7 line. There is Roadblock. That looks great. I love the cartoon animated look. They're a little bit pricey, but they look so darn cool. And look at this, we got red ninjas. So many red ninjas. They got a bunch of these in right now. Great card art, really cool figure. It's basically Storm Shadow in red, but that is nice. And yes, the moment you've been waiting for. They'll probably make too many, but we all buy them. We love them. He's Snake Eyes, but here he is. A classic ninja look with the animation colors. What a great card back that is. Man, and there, the picture from the comic book. Got that one at home, framed on the wall. Excellent. And yes, he even gets Flint's here. Rock on. Flint, got his gun there, camo pants. That is cool, man. Yo, Joe. And I was hoping by now we'd start seeing some new Star Wars um, items and some new Cool stuff, um, promoting Obi-Wan Kenobi, nothing yet, but there is still a client here, and he's only one per case, so not a bad find if you can get him, because he's rare, even if he's not particularly wanted today. One per case, get him while you can. Hold up, what? Check this out. Star Wars fans, over in Target collection section, we've got Star Wars Vision t-shirts. Oh man, happy to see more merchandise revisions coming out. I hope we get more, but this looks cool. I picked this up in a heartbeat, except that every last one of these, they're all 2X. Better eat some more cheeseburgers or find a different size, but this is cool. Yep, and I'm beginning to realize that the best Star Wars product representation is not action figures, it's Legos. They are stocked and there's so many sets out right now from the Falcon to the Imperial Cruiser, if you want to spend the big dollars, or more affordable sets, like Luke teaching the Dark Troopers a lesson. Well, yeah, I'm beginning to think this might be the trend. You might see more Lego Star Wars than anything else. Target's got Star Wars today. You can find Ahsoka here. I've seen her twice now, actually three times, so that's kind of cool. Gives hope for us collectors out there. She's out there, get out on the hunt, find yourself an Ahsoka, find yourself the client. He's one per case, get him together. You got a nice pairing, goes great with wine. I do like the artwork on these. Always really dynamic and cool. Anything else on vintage? Well, there's your answer. But hey, not too bad if you want to get the new wave of Star Wars Black Series. And only the second target where I found Omega. She's one per case. And here she is on the peg. Rock on. Get out there, toy hunters. You can get lucky. They're rare, but they are here. Woo, it's the Yojo jackpot today. We got more Super 7s coming out. Here's Cobra Commander. That nice, rich blue. That's rad. And there's Snake Eyes again. Can't get enough of them, so why not one more look? Love that comic book cover on the back. And this one, this one is the prize. Look at that Baroness. Oh man, that is good. That is so good. Cool, glad I got this one. Awesome. Target Collectibles found some more aliens. Check it out, they got Alien 3, they got the dog. Nice. 
really cool. You got like the silver one, like that, and golden ones. Golden ones for the win. Rock on. These are great to see so many different different options. Ooh, like a metallic. Yeah, these are rad. Really cool. Hold the phone, what is this? This is what I want. I want it in Black Series or TVC, but there it is, the Ronin and B556 with this fun little hat. That is super cool. Man, I really hope they make them in action figure form, but these are so cool to see. And the twins, we got one of them here. But yeah, Star Wars Visions March. Give me more, man, give me more. That is super rad. All right, Target, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. We got the Razorcrest Hot Wheels Starship Select. This is like a jumbo version of the smaller line that they had out previously. And this one's super detailed. Look at all that paint work. has got a nice wash, really looks dirty and authentic. It's got kind of like a blueprint schematic as a backdrop. That's cool, we didn't find all of them today. X-Wing, Slave One, TIE Fighter, they're not here, but a nice display base it comes with. So, cool to see, if not all of them, that Razor Crest is certainly the one to find. Now, this is a surprise. I've only found Castle Grayskull one time. It was just before Christmas, found one. Now at Target, you can get three right now. And they're ringing up for 71 bucks. I'm not sure if that's cheaper than usual. I think it was, I think it was more expensive back at Christmas time. But dude, I'm totally shocked. There's three Castle Grayskulls here right now. This is too cool. All right, here's something I haven't found yet. Ravager Thor. Nice. He's cool. Kind of looks like um, Jack Burton from Big Trouble in Little China. That's cool. First time seeing Ravager Thor. And we got King Valkyrie here too. Saw her at GameStop. Nice to find both of these. This is cool. Speaking of Thor, Walmart's got some pretty cool Marvel puzzles. I don't know if this image would look better on a puzzle or the side of a van. Whatever it is, it is rad. That is great. Over here in the collectible section at Walmart, and it's kind of confusing. What holiday are we celebrating right now? Is it Halloween? Is it Valentine's Day? These villainous Valentines? That's wild. And then these are really cool. Rock on, check out these Funko pins. I can get down with this. That's cool. And then these pop pins. Check it out, classic Universal Monsters. We got Wolfman. We got Dracula. Bride of Frankenstein. And good old Frankenstein's monster himself. And while we're rocking on, let's keep the party going. This would make a really cool display. If you wanted to set up a band of action figures, you've got the Spaceman, you got Ace right there, you've got Angus Young from ACDC, and Slash from Guns N' Roses. So if you want a GNR, ACDC, KISS band, um, man, you could do it. You could put this thing together and make it happen. I think I'm gonna play the long game and see if they come down in price, but that would rock. And this is crazy. It's taken me four stores to find this whole wave. Well, all except Thor. I haven't found Padme Amidala version of Thor yet. So, but here's Star-Lord for the first time. Natalie Portman's out there. I'll see her eventually, but this is cool to finally run into Star-Lord with the rest of the gang. King Valkyrie, Thor. Ravager Thor's not here, but uh, almost all are present accounted for, and especially Groot. He's my favorite. Hey now, if Star Wars can come out with Hot Wheels versions of their characters, then why not Jurassic Park? Check these out. T-Rex has a truck. Stegosaurus has one. Uh, Giganosaurus, he's got one. Or you could just buy the whole box set with all of them in it. Velociraptor, Triceratops, five pack. Pretty cool. And why not? If we're looking at Hot Wheels, why not check out and see if they got a Batmobile. Bingo, baby. There it is, 66. Looking cool. Nice. Hot Wheels, man. 94 cents. 
You can find some fun stuff. There's another Batmobile. Oh, that one's kind of wild. And this one caught my eye. This little hot rod, this chrome skull. Good stuff, man. Good time, rock on! And it's a good time to go toy hunting. And speaking of toy hunting, don't forget to stay to the very end. We're gonna show you one last stop that we made at a local collector shop full of import figures. We're talking SH Figure Arts, all the cool stuff. You don't wanna miss that. But before we do that, let me show you what we got today on a Star Wars toy hunt. Yes, we did it. Boba Fett in hand, we found him. He went up on shelves to Target this morning we grabbed them we're so thrilled this is what we've been hunting for this is why you never stop toy hunting you got to be persistent you got to be patient participate in the community they will help you they will give you heads up i have people in the community give me a heads up and it paid off and here it is so get out there and find it he's on target shelves now and so is this beauty check it out we brought home the baroness we also have destro so we're going to do a review with both of them opening opening these up having a good time don't miss it. And yes, don't forget, stay to the end. See all those cool import figures that we found. But until next time, you can follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Stevo Says Stuff. And on Instagram, we're collecting Star Wars YouTube. And remember, be kind, stay strong, because you are the hero of your own story.